Agneta, de blonde liedzangeres van de groep die meer platen verkocht dan de Beatles. Abba, wereldwijd doorgebroken in 1974 toen dus ze met Waterloo het Eurovisie Songfestival wonnen. Inmiddels is Abba popgeschiedenis geworden. Er werden miljoenen verdiend tot de groep vijf jaar geleden uit elkaar viel. Agneta ging op haar eentje verder. Ze is afkomstig uit een artistieke familie. Haar vader was een lokaal bekend acteur. Ze trouwde met een van de leden van ABBA, Björn. Ze is later ook gescheiden, zoals het trouwens ook dat andere abba al verging. Anjeta is moeder van twee kinderen en een vrouw die een permanente kruistocht voert tegen de Zweedse rollopers. Dit is Anjeta Feldskeur. On what moment did you decide, when you were young, that you wanted to become a singer or an artist? Oh, that was very early, I must say, because I started to write songs when I was five years old. And then I started with a dance band when I was 15. And I also composed a lot of songs during this time. Did your father influence you in any way? A little bit, maybe, but uh, he, he was in a, well, dat was meer lokaal in Zweden. Het was niet heel erg bekend, maar hij was heel erg goed. Dus ik denk dat ik dat had in mijn hoofd. Heel erg. En ik luister ook naar veel vrouwelijke zingers, zoals Connie Francis en Brenda Lee. Heb je in je hele periode gezegd dat deze manier van leven niet me laat me een goede moeder zijn? Sinds je over je kind hebt, heb je ook een zoon. Ben je een betere moeder nu dan je was? Mm, it's always hard to com combine and uh, I think uh, I don't get a better mother but I feel more relaxed and I, I like to be at home and to spend my days with my children so that probably makes me a, a better or at least a calmer mother so to say. But what were, were the problems you and your ever period in this respect? Can you tell us about it? Well, we, we were traveling so much around the world. I mean, we were everywhere, nearly. We went to Japan and Australia a couple of times, South America, and <clears throat> everyone wanted us at the same time. So that was the problem. Yes. And being a good mother is more important to you than having a successful solo career. Yes, but sometimes you can't choose. So uh, I knew that I had to do it, and I li love it as well, and I think it's also uh, important that you can do this sort of uh, job if you feel that is your life, because that makes you um, a better mother if you are, I mean, if you are satisfied with your work as well. So, but I think uh, it's always hard to combine it. And uh, when we had this enormous success with ABBA, I, <coughs> I missed my children so much because they were also so small by that time. So it was hard to explain for them. They didn't understand why they were away so much.
lot of problems with the gossip press. But you refused to accept that because you even wrote a letter to the Dagens Nyheter. Yes, this yeah, is the, that's right. the most important uh, yeah. newspaper in Sweden. For what reason did you react on I'm that? I'm impressed that you knew that. <laughs> For what reason did you react like that? Well, I don't want to... I mean, people look upon you as silly or stupid if you... If they, I mean, week by week get wrong things from you. And I react because I get very angry. And uh, I know a journalist, a very serious... Uh, journalist, a uh, female, that worked for this paper. So she contact, contacted me and then I already had written a, an open letter, so to say. So I gave it to her and she changed some bits and then, then they took it in this newspaper. And it was the start of a national discussion, let's say, on the gossip press. H has your ac action been worth all the trouble? Did you have any results with your action against the gossip press? Uh, for a period it was better. But now, when I have this record and I show myself more often in, you know, television and newspapers as well, because I want to talk about my record, yes. it starts again. It starts all over again. Yeah, but I consequent, uh, mm, like, uh, yeah, in Swedish. Yeah, unlike a poem. Jag anmäler konsekvent alla artiklar som är fel. <laughs> it's so nice that I have to read the answer in the subtitle. So <laughs> it's a bit like, um, it's not very far from Holland. Yes. So you still get angry if you read wrong things about yourself, things that are not Yes, true. of course, of course. Yeah. I do. Looking back to the ever period, what did it bring to you? More positive or more negative things? Both positive and maybe equal. <laughs> I think more positive, really. I think we... We are all four very proud of what we have achieved. It was an enormous success yes. all over the world. Are you, are you still in touch with each other? The four of you? Uh, not very much. Two members have moved abroad. And uh, I have contact, of course, with uh, Bjorn because he's the father to my two children. after all a very high price if, if you have the group two divorces in one group is a lot I think wasn't it too high a price for everything you did I don't look upon it as a, a price a price because I think that would have happened anyway really the music I mean, didn't the, play the any part of it. no the success was, didn't play an important part of there because you were working 24 hours together oh yeah but I don't think it it was depending on that only. Yeah. No. Wasn't it very difficult, because I saw you performing in Rotterdam, that, that you made a world tour even after all the problems you had before of you? Mm -hmm. Was that still possible to work yeah, I mean, we, so closely together? Yeah, we went on working together and that also shows that that was not the problem. I mean, we liked to work together. We had, it was very difficult sometimes, but we, we choose to go on a while, even after the divorce. Because, I mean, I can only talk for myself and Joan. We were very much agreed about our divorce.
consider yourself a privileged woman? Mm, I think you are. If you have uh, experienced uh, this sort of success, you get privileged because uh, it's easier, people know who you are. So it's easier to come up with a new thing now than it, than it is when you start, I mean, when, no, when no one knows you. The fact that you consider yourself privileged, does mm. it mean at the same time that you consider yourself happy? Are you happy? Um, uh, it's very different. It changes from day to day. One day you feel very happy and the next day is awful. So I'm, I'm like anybody else. But most of the time I'm happy and uh, I think I, uh, I want to think positive. I don't want any negative thoughts or looking back and regret things. I, I want to look into the future and look positive. Thank you very much. And your English was great today. Thank you, wasn't it? <laughs>